Me, Princess of Wales Estates is next. This is a mile and a half group two. Or oh, three year olds and up. Our future treasures at the top four. Craig Beckwith going to the unexplainedly on Van Rensburg. Sweet Chaos. Obi Wan Merchant of Doubtly on Van Rensburg. Milwaukee Pepito. Vinny Gerard. Petrovna Location. And Storm Murmur for David Robertson. The Greg Gatsby. Dan Hughes. Bella Brandy for Joshua Sutherland. Cafe Pacific for Craig Allen. Joyrider Dan Hughes. And Windy City Patrick Hogan. A field of 12 then. In the rain. And all ready to go. Away they go then. And who's going to be the first one to strike? Looks like the Leon Van Rensburg pair are both away well over on the far side. And it's Guide to the Unexplained who's got the rail and has got the lead. The yellow jacketed Obi One Horse Sweet Chaos has now come through. And on this one little bit of a turn that they take on this track has taken advantage of the opportunity to get across to the rail and open up by four. So Sweet Chaos then already landed a big one this season for Obi One is four clear. In the Princess of Wales, within second place, going to the unexplained, then Storm Murmur and Bella Brandy, future treasures after that one, and then Cafe Pacific looking towards the back, the great Gatsby is towards the back of the field, the other great joyrider in mid-division, Windy City is now last, but it's Sweet Chaos, who's the leader by four. They're pretty tightly packed in behind with Bella Brandy just showing second, Merchant of Doubt, future treasure, Storm Murmur, and... After that one, Guide to the Unexplained, and then Cafe Pacific Joyrider is the one who's just about the widest one on the track. That one's been trapped by Patrol the Location. Then the Grey Gatsby Windy City just been taken off its feet a little bit as they pass the seven furlong pole, and Sweet Chaos is set in a stiff pace in the lead. Leads by four then from Future Treasure is just second closest to us. Then comes Storm Murmur Mer and Merchant of Doubt. Future Treasure, Bella Brandy, Cafe Pacific is coming through. They're coming to get a little bit closer to this. Sweet Chaos now. Sweet Chaos leads by just two. Two Merchant of Doubt and Storm Murmur. Then Bella Brandy. The one going well around the outside is Joy Rider. Petrovna Location is also coming through with a run. Cafe Pacific is going to need a split. But it's Sweet Chaos who's got the lead. Sweet Chaos is still in the lead but being strongly pressed now by Merchant of Doubt and Storm Murmur. Here comes Future Treasure through with a run. Bella Brandy's looking for racing room. Petrov, the location is cruising on the outside. Bella Brandy's got work to do, but it's Sweet Chaos still in front. They're racing down towards the three furlong pole. There's still a fair old way to go. And it's Sweet Chaos who's in the lead from Petrov, the location of Merchant of Dead. Then comes Bella Brandy. Storm Murmur. Cafe Pacific is now got going and is coming through into second, but Sweet Chaos is still the leader from Cafe Pacific and Storm Murmur. Then Bella Brandy and Merchant of Dead. Petrov, the location is after that. Joyrider's trying to get going. Sweet Car still sticks his neck out, but now Cafe Pacific begins to wire him down, and Cafe Pacific takes it up. It's Cafe Pacific. Sweet Car trying to fight back. Storm Murmur, Merchant of Doubt, Petrovna Location. Cafe Pacific is in the lead. They're inside the final half final. It's Cafe Pacific from Petrovna Location, and Cafe Pacific is going to take it. Cafe Pacific wins it. Bella Brandy might have got his neck, and then Storm Murmur, Milwaukee Pepito only got mentioned right at the end. And Windy City was the last one to finish. So the result then of the Prince of Wales Estate, or the Princess of Wales Estates, is Cafe Pacific for Craig Allen, the winner. Bella Brandy, Josh was in second. Storm Murmur, David Robertson was third. Milwaukee Pepito was never near at the end. Fourth for Vinnie Gerard and Joyrider for Dan Hughes was fifth.